Now, political leaders in Kogi state have described the confluent state as a flashpoint of serious concern ahead of the 2019 general elections and calls on the security agencies to take urgent action to avert the looming danger. The political leaders comprising members of the People's Democratic Party allege that the state governor is responsible for the recruitment of fake security personnel it plans to use during the election, citing Asadevaim tells us more. The alert of a possible danger during the forthcoming elections in Kogi State is being delivered by the chairman of the Kogi State chapter of the People's Democratic Party. There have also been more recent evolutions of arms build-up in the state, as well as arming and training of 3,000 stroke militias disguised as vigilantes at the Kogi Confluence Stadium, Lokoya. We believe these militias are being prepared for the full-scale deployment of, to unleash violence and disruption during the forthcoming general election. He says the party leadership have been compelled to draw the attention of the national and international community to watch Kogi State against the backdrop of the serious security breaches in the state under the watch of Yahya Bello government. Citing incidences and dates, the chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Kogi State, Sam Uhutu, listed disruptions of party rallies, meetings, and destruction of skill acquisition center at Aetoru Bede in the Jumu local government area of the state, and many others. The call on the National Peace Committee and the Inspector General of Police to prevail on the state government to protect the lives and property of Kogi indigenous and residents are sworn in the oath the governor has taken. According to them, a thorough investigation should be conducted by the relevant authorities to fish out the perpetrators of the violence in the state. Compel all security agencies, especially the military and police, to maintain demonstrable neutrality in the performance of their duties before and during the forthcoming general election. Conduct thorough investigation into allegations of arms transpired and the train of armed bearing militias in the state in guise of vigilantes. Dismantle all training camps and confiscate illegal arms in their custody. They demand the immediate arrest and prosecution of offenders to serve as deterrence to others. O Saiti Sadibane, Core TV News, Abuja.